Emotions ran high on the second day of the LV County Championship match between Sussex and Somerset after Michael Yardy, playing for the final time at the Brighton and Hove Jobs.com County Ground, struck 100. Yardy began the second morning after a delayed start on 60, but lost his overnight partner Ashar Zaidi to the seventh ball of the day as he was legged before to Jamie Overton after adding only a single to his 90 made on day one. That left Sussex on 308 for seven and with some work to do to try to get to 400 for maximum batting bonus points. Of course, a draw here for both teams may not be a bad result in their bid to avoid relegation. And so a bigger total as possible for the home team was a big deal. Yardy, who retires from the sport at the end of next week, looked in a very determined mood to end his career at Hove with back-to-back tons, having made one against Yorkshire last time out here. This was again a fantastic moment for him and all of those who have enjoyed him playing for Sussex for the last 16 years. A fine leg side glance off Tim Grunewald brought the much admired left hander his 17th four to take him to three figures for the 23rd time in his first class career of 163 balls. He had those at the ground on their feet and he also received very warm applause from his batting partner Chris Jordan and the Somerset fielders. Perhaps, just perhaps, Yard has announced his retirement a bit too soon. Alas for him and a good crowd, he was out two balls later, helping a delivery from Peter Trigo into the hands of James Hildreth. But Yardy could walk off the field a very, very proud man, one who's given so much to Sussex over the years. He will be sorely missed at this ground. He made sure that this was the home team's morning and they eventually got up to a total of 409 with Jordan the last out for 42 and that gave Somerset some work to do at the top of their order. Marcus Triscothic and Tom Abel both struck hundreds last time out and this time they got the innings moving with a stand of 26. Abel had made half of those when he dragged a ball from Jordan back onto his stumps. The home team cock a hoop to get that early wicket. But it was their only one for a while as Triscothic ending this summer in fine form and Tom Cooper, a man who also reached three figures in his last innings, saw their side through to T, which was taken with a score on 67 for one and indeed beyond. The pitch continued to look to be a good one to bat on and Somerset wouldn't have minded that one little bit. In ten overs at the crease together, this pair added a breezy 56. But then Cooper, who'd made 31 off only 28 balls, was given out caught behind off McGoffin. The batsman left the middle a little sheepishly. So it was now important that Triscothic, his eye now in, didn't give it away. He went to yet another half century in his remarkable career, the 175th time he's got that far, this one occupying 75 balls and that being his eighth boundary. For a man who turns 40 on Christmas Day, the former England man keeps on churning out the runs. He will be hopeful of reaching 24,000 in the first class arena sometime next year. He and Hildreth saw out eight overs in which the score was advanced by 32 runs, but then the rain returned to take the players off. And that was that for the day, Somerset ending it on 114 for two, which means that they'll enter the second half of this match trailing by 295 runs, but with Triscothic still there on 53.